welcome back in this video i have a dell all-in-one optiplex 3030 all-in-one series and model should be w10 uh, yes 10b w10b so in this video i'll show you how you can remove this stand easily and how you can change cpu ssd and ram first of all we are going to remove this stand so you just simply lift the cover and unscrew to remove the wall stand here you go as you remove the wall screw it's done same that's how simply you remove the stand so now if we want to remove this cover as soon as you remove the stand you will see some direction of the back of the under the stand was hiding so you, if you can you can follow the uh, process to remove this back cover so basically you just have to lift this uh, from this corner pull. and pull and it up pull it up as you go around all the way There you go, that's how you remove the back cover of this all-in-one monitor or PC. So as soon as you remove, you that's how you will see your SSD in there. So uh, this is the hard drive, hard but we're going to stop it with an SSD. Alright, thank you. So just hold from the bottom corner and pull it upwards, it just comes out. And then you take the connection off, that's it. The hard drive is off now we're gonna swap that with an ssd so question is after you remove your hard drive or ssd you will be thought of where is ram so that's the simply is hiding in there as you can see is pull sign in there you just simply need to pull it then you will see the ram is hiding under this plate here you go also if you look for cpu the cpu is hiding under this cover so if you want to remove this uh, cpu you have to remove some screw and then you will get access of the cpu after we remove some screw from there the plate will come up as well so then you will have a uh, access for cpu so this only one came with an i3 4 gen so we're gonna take these screws off get into the cpu and change the cpu to an i7 4th gen There is the CPU. All you do is just push this handle downwards and then pull it out. Uh, see, now we've got the access to the CPU. And just take the CPU out. Now putting the i7 4 gen in there. That's it, that's your CPU replacement done <laughs> applying some thermal paste before you put the heat sink on the heat sink pack Now we're gonna remove the RAM. It came within 4 GB and we're gonna upgrade it to 16.
a CTROM upgrade is done. So we replace the hard drive with an SSD. Just gonna connect it with the connector first. And just slide in in the slot. That's it. That's all done. Let's put the cover back on and the leg. Now we're gonna put everything back in its place. I'm just going to put the back plate on, align it and just push it down, making sure everything is clipped properly. See upgrading done. So after uh, upgrade uh, this uh, uh, CPU and RAM and SSD, so this Dell Optiflex uh, uh, 3030 all in one is ready to use. So we upgrade it from was actually i3 4 gen. To we upgrade into i7 4th gen and RAM was 4 4 GB. Now we update into 16 GB and we upgrade a SSD as well. Hard drive to SSD is now is 512 SSD now. So this PC is ready to use. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe the channel.